What's up everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Sweepy TV. It's your girls, Alex and Taylor, and Hello. we have a super strange show for you today. We do, and it's also July. Yes! I don't know when that happened. I know. I have no but idea. But it is a strangely amazing show. Uh, well, <laughs> if we're doing one thing today, it's keeping things strange, if you know what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, so we have the uh, Jack, amazing yeah. Jag Mac on the show today. We do. I love them. They're like such a fan. They're just the six member family band. So they're going to be joining us very soon. It's always special when they come yeah. back to Sweetie High and also hit up the Stranger Things carpet this past week. So we got a lot to do. Very little time to do it. We do. So first up, we have to talk about what's happening. Well, the adorable and talented Sophie Michelle has yes. some exciting news, right? She does. Okay. I guess we'll get into her, her song that she just released. But I had seen her on the Toy Story 4 red carpet. Yeah. And she may have told us first that she had a new single coming out. Very, very exciting. I know. So, of course, she teamed up with Brat Records. She did. And the music video will be out July 13th. But this song is about a first crush. So Taylor, do you remember your first crush? Yep. Yeah? I'm not over it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> of course I do. I do remember my first crush. I think it was in kindergarten, but like one that actually counts. Yeah. I was a little older. I had more game. I'm going to throw it out there when I was younger than I do now. Uh huh. But um, yeah, I think you always remember your first crush. Yeah. I mean, I have so many yearbooks from first grade, second grade, where oh. I've had hearts around my first crushes. <laughs> so and it was always, learn, it was that. Get some tea from no. my yearbook. You oh my can. God. I had like hide my yearbook from my mother and I go back and read it now and it's like totally PG and completely appropriate. But people would always write in there like kit, like keep in touch. Yeah. But if a boy, Pags. do people, do you guys sign your books? I want to know in the comments below. Do yeah. you even have your books? Are these a digital thing? I have no idea. But they are precious gems of a keepsake. When you go back and if a boy did a heart. Oh my gosh. And then wrote his name under it. I'm not, I'm having memories and flashbacks. He liked you. And then he uh. put his number down, his home phone. <laughs> his home phone. That dial up. I think yeah. they have cell phones now too. They do, I'm saying yeah. at the time though, yeah. it took a lot of guts to call someone in my day. No, it did and it's super amazing. But Sophie Anyways, Michelle yes. talks about her first crush, so she I'm does. excited to kind of learn more about who her first crush may be. And also, there's some brat um, talent featured in the music video, Ooh, allegedly. Gonna, so allegedly. who do you think is going to be in there? Ooh, if I had to guess, I'm going to go ahead. Let's see, Sophie's she's a little bit younger on the younger end. I'm going to go with not Annie LeBlanc, but maybe Haley LeBlanc. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. I don't know, you got any guesses for me? Well, I think one of the boys for sure is gonna be in it. Oh, doubt that would be Maybe starring sense. as her first crush. I don't know. Maybe, it's a, girl, maybe it's a girl crush. You never know. Like, That's I have true. girl crushes on so many girls out there. Um, but, anyways, yeah, I'm excited to see who it's gonna be. They've got some good people on the tracks, people that have actually worked with One Direction and Chain Rachel Platten. Yeah, Chain Smokers. So, one, you can stream it right now on Spotify. But two, it's, it's called No Breaks, right. so that's what, you, what you'll be searching. But I think the whole idea is that when you're, you're crushing on someone, you're going full speed ahead. You have no breaks. You, there's no breaks. But I will caution you, put your darn seatbelt on because it <laughs> might crash. You may crash and burn. You may need some breaks or a little stop and go when it comes yeah. to guys. Take it from us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but when you're young, you just it does just feel like free, you know, just free falling. So why don't we see what she had yeah. to say at Toy Story 4 premiere, Exactly. Yeah? See what she had to say before we even knew the song was coming out. What are you doing? What are you up to since I last saw you? Because girl's busy. <laughs> girl's busy. Well, um, I have a few songs coming out this year and I'm really excited. Do you want to sing them? I can't sing them. I'm sorry, guys. But okay. I wish I could. But like, they're coming out soon. But Imperfectly Perfect is out now. You yeah. can go stream that. But, okay. Yeah. Um, where'd you get the inspiration for these songs? For, well, one song is like a love story. Between you and who? Nobody. It's a love story. Okay. And um, the other one, I can't really say yet. Okay. But um, yeah, stay tuned. They're going to be really fun and you're going to love them. So All I right. just finished recording one recently. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I tried to she get it tried, out of her. She tried, guys. Right. Don't hate her. I gave mean, it, she tried. Gave it my own. 
She's adorable, right? She is so adorable and so talented. I mean, if you go yes. on her Instagram, I kind of went down a deep dark hole because I love her that much. Yeah. I came across a um, Lauren Daigle cover. Ooh, I mean, okay. the girl is very talented and I'm excited to see. This is her second official single. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to see what she has in store for the future. Yes, and Sophie, you did promise that you would come back once the single was released. Yes. Thus, just keep it on your come promise, back. girl. We love you. All right. Speaking of red carpets. Yeah. And speaking of young love, we got Stranger Things 3. Woo, Stranger wow. Things 3 comes out 4th of July. So celebrate America, celebrate Stranger Things, all the above. I'm thinking there's gotta be something a little stunty here with the 4th of July. Yeah, right? I believe that too. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen, but I do know one thing. Summer is heating up. Yeah, and I mean, love is blossoming. Tell us about the carpet. I saw there was a marching band. There was a marching band. It was kind of stunty. It was at this high school, and it really did bring me back to my days high in days. high school. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was kind of jogging the memory a little bit there. But it was really cool. We saw the entire cast walk. They had a cool thing with like the fans in the audience set up with Make a Wish Foundation. So these kids are really just like doing things right. And we were actually next to um, E News The Rundown, which was pretty cool if you watch that on Snapchat. So we got to like, yeah, it was just kind of like a cool moment to like see everything happening. Yeah, I on also the saw courts. our boy Jonathan Bennett was on the carpet. I saw him from across yeah. the way and I was like, I think that's Jonathan Bennett, if you're unfamiliar. Mean girls. Mean girls, <laughs> your hair looks sexy, push back. Anyways, I heard someone in the crowd be like, your hair looks sexy. I was like, that's him. <laughs> it is <laughs> there him. There he is. But I didn't see him past that. He's so. been all over. He's really, really killing it. I'm gonna do a shameless plug, make sure you go get his book. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Mean Girl, what is it? Cookbook? Um, yeah. Yeah. The Burn Cookbook. The cook Burn book. Cookbook. There we yeah. go. Make sure you go get that. Anyways, yeah, so the Stranger Things red carpet. Love, he, finally, these kids are entering adolescence as is, and then also their characters are too. So what everyone's kind of wanted to see come to fruition has been the characters Eleven and Mike. Eleven yeah. And Mike, right? Yeah, Eleven and Mike kind of like love blossom. Summer love. We're um, going to finally see it. Let's talk about Millie Bobby Brown's outfit on the red carpet. Girl is cute. She was gorgeous this and pink, pink. Like she just looked like a cotton candy, delicious. Bite. I am always excited <laughs> to see her on carpets. She, she's like Tells she's it. growing up. You yeah. Know? Now it's like I want to wear what Millie's always wearing. I love the girl, her style, everything. But anyways, we talked a lot about what happens in a friend group when two friends start dating. It changes the dynamic a little bit. Very much so. I know. So see what some of the cast and everyone on the carpet had to say. It's Taylor Dett with Soupy TV, and we are here at Netflix's world premiere of Stranger Things 3. We see the friend you know, dynamic change a little bit as Eleven and Mike. Love starts to blossom between them two and their friend group. Do you have any personal experience where uh, two of your friends, or maybe you were that friend, Starts dating one of the friends. Oh my god, yes, it was me. Any advice for maybe friends gr groups going through that right now? Oh, I mean, it's not, it, it kind of, it makes the vibe a little weird. It's a weird dynamic, um, but it, it it, it spices things up, I guess. I okay. would I would just keep things good and be nice to everyone. I don't All know. Right. Yeah, in high school, I at my very first one of my very at my very first like boyfriend boyfriend was actually just like we were both in the same friend group, and then we were the couple in the friend yeah. groups. And when we both broke up, which we did like two or three times throughout all of high school, was it was a thing. It yeah. was like a big thing. That's probably the thing you want to avoid the most in order to keep friendships or groups. But you know, it's inevitable. So uh, I like how that those those interesting dynamics are starting to form. And at the end, when they do the dance and there's like people start to pair off, yeah. you're kind of like, all right, how's this gonna be? You know. But that's that that's life. Life's a beautiful thing. It changes all the time. That's the only consistent. Right. So Very true. I, I think it's good storytelling. Just be patient. Just be patient with the couple. And you know, it, you're, you're a teen, so just patience, honestly. Patience. They have no idea what they're doing, just like you have no idea as a friend what to right, do with right. the couple. It's, yeah. This takes place in summer. So, what would be your ideal summer date if you could think of one? A carnival. I would say Ooh, a carnival. A carnival? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Are you like a guy that likes to go on the rides? Yeah. <laughs> would you buy your date uh, popcorn? Yeah, and a stuffed animal, of course. Ladies, listen, <laughs> listen up. I like to travel, so. Okay. Um, I just got back from this place called Valle de Mosa in Spain, oh. and it's where Chopin composed some of his nocturnes. Okay. And uh, there's a there's a lovely uh, like farm there and villa and kind of like beachside sunset, good music, good food. All right, well, ladies, this is who you want to take you on that summer <laughs> date. You're going to Spain with uh, all of that. I all just, right. I, I, I just dug myself Sold. into an expensive <laughs> date. You did, you did. And that's a wrap here from the world premiere of Stranger Things three. Make sure you catch the all new season coming out on Netflix July 4th. There it is.
Wow. I think a lot of people are just saying it happens, but probably don't do it, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. I think it's bad news, but it, it does happen. It so. is. But if someone in my friend group wanted to date, I am not throwing anything <laughs> off the table. I am no, <laughs> no position to say no right now. But um, anyways, that comes out July 4th. Make sure you catch it on Netflix. I will be watching. Kick off summer, you know? Yeah. And speaking of summer, our girl Kylie Jenner is coming out with more cosmetics and launched her summer collection yep. Under the Sea. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> like, girl is killing it. I mean, this, this is, is beautiful. And you know what's funny too, speaking of like going back to my younger days, I remember the first eyeshadow I ever, it was like the glitter stick. Yeah. <laughs> my mom would rip that thing for me. But you just, it was a stick, all right? Kylie, bring back the glitter stick. And anyways, because she's coming out with all these shimmers. It's right. Like shimmer eye glazes. Or what about true colors? Did you have those those circular ones? Well, isn't that cool? <laughs> just kidding. No, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you take the stick, it's like a glue, and you just, like that on each eyelid. <laughs> I don't know how good that would look today. Oh, Kevin. my mom informed me it did not look good. Um, but things always come back around. Yeah, right? so the summer collection is filled with metallics and glitter and has some amazing names like yep. Beach Bum, Endless Summer, Bikini Bod, mm. Boss Bay, B-A-Y, yeah. Night Swim, Aqua Mama. I mean, the list goes on and on. Of course, the branding is Amazing, as yeah. the Kardashians do everything just perfect. But um, they'll have three lipstick shades, two lip mm. blushes, four shimmer eye glaze, and a high gloss. So your lip gloss okay. will be popping for summer. All of it, which you can get on July 10th and only July 10th, probably for a very limited amount it's of time. It's probably already sold out. Probably, yeah, it's probably already sold out. But honestly. the coolest thing about it is it comes in like a shell. Yeah. And if you saw on Kylie's Instagram, she was everything was by the water. So like in the background behind the packaging was gorgeous crystal blue water at her house in yeah. Calabasas. I mean, it looks amazing and I'm, I'm down for it. anyone orders it and yes. it happens to just be on time, order two, okay? Right. And just send it, DM me and send it. I'll Venmo you, <laughs> all right? I'd love to try it. I just I know. know I'm not gonna be able to get it. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, congratulations to Kylie again on an amazing launch. Yeah. I mean, it hasn't launched yet, but just announcing okay. this if history wonderful beats itself, collection. Yeah. It's a sellout. <laughs> I know. Um, anyways, but we gotta talk about our special guests. Yeah. Summer is kicking off and Jag Mac, who better to do it with? No one. I'll answer my own question. With the six-member family band, they actually launched their single like a band on Sweetie High's website exclusively, SweetieHigh.com. Right. And their music video, you'll get to hear in the interview, I basically scolded them because like I wasn't prepared for this sitting at my cubicle. <laughs> that like I would want to be jumping in a pool, splashing around and like having, you know, so much a fun. Summer. It's so cute. Yeah. I mean, like to have that family bond and like to work mm -hmm. and play with your family, it must be so special. You know it's not, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> My brother is the one that films this and edits this, just kidding. It is really cool and a unique experience. And we talked a little bit about, you know, what keeps you together? There's six of you. Yeah. And we've seen this with the Jonas Brothers recently. We do see this sometimes with like family, musically talented, right. you know, folks that, um, it's kind of hard to keep it together. It is. So if they ever get nervous and basically what is their glue that keeps them together? So, enough of me. <laughs> Let's just get straight to that interview. And welcome back to Sleep Beat TV. I have been joined by the six sibling pop rising group. Jack Mac is back with us. Thank, Thank you so much for having us. You guys, we love it. You, I love you guys so much. You're making quite a splash with your latest <laughs> single, Like a Band, Thank you. which Thank premiered you. right here at home on SweetieHigh.com. Right. Yes. 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 Thank you so much. Again. Now look, I am always here for a music video, right? Okay. But you gotta warn your girl, when we're, I'm watching from my desk, that I'm gonna have major FOMO <laughs> when I'm watching this video, because you guys are in this lavish pool, oh, just having the best summer time of your life. Okay. It was work. It's crazy, it didn't even it feel like work. Like Cause like you go, you show up in these sets, it's just like, well, here's a pool, here's some like scooters, and you're just like, here's all some right, I guess I'll yeah. This is fun. Well, I gotta ask Kate, cause it's all six of you, you're all siblings. Mm -hmm. Now, my siblings and I, we can't even agree on where to go to dinner. Okay, how do we settle an argument? Oh, Mom, or a disagreement. Dad. Yeah. Because you, if you took a vote, we there's six. all in favor. Okay. We say that we're all in favor if we're going to McDonald's. True. And then kind of like, <laughs> a, very, kind of like a vote, but the problem is with, since it's an even number That's of siblings, saying. it's yes. three and three yeah. a lot of times. So we do martial arts, we even... fight to the death. Uh, we'll get there. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, but like it's a it's a joke that only it's, you can make because the fact that they actually are all black belts. Correct. <laughs> And As I like to scoot away. <laughs> no, 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 no. We protect you. It's funny because on tour, like, 
normal people have like security guards, was... but we kind of have ourselves. No. Okay. <laughs> you took need for oh. security. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Do you have a need for security? <laughs> question mark. So <laughs> no, but it's fine. No, you're good. So you answered my question. Not you, yet. you don't do really no, need it, right? Not really. Oh, it's yeah. I mean, I, I, it can't yeah. get crazy at times. Yeah. So because the boys you're... are our security guards. They are crazy. They're very. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say it. I guess it's kind of protective of our sisters. Jared! Jared's the most protective. I don't know. He's just pretty protective of the girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when they go on dates and he doesn't know, like, who they are. I don't know, really. Like, who's that guy? Who are you? Who's that? But even when we're in the mall, like, they go on, like, this B formation. It's an I formation. So we're blocked. We can't. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, let's come from here. So, there's normally, like, it's normally like five of us who go to the mall. So it's probably right. Man Joe in the front, <laughs> or this guy in the front, mm -hmm. them two in the middle, and then it's normally he and I in the back. Like, okay. Like, Just like, because like, you know, guys, I didn't, I didn't they, know do, they give our sisters So you guys literally choreograph everything you do. I have You're in formation. Like, like, you just want to go and walk in the mall, yeah, you know? Right. Like, no, without... you can't. No, you can't. Yeah, you know, security 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 guard. Guard. No, honestly though, the girls. Yeah, we walk the girls, around with like okay. hair pieces. Yeah, too, so okay. Like, <laughs> like, watch out, guys. Got a short crazy. one coming. Right? North, yeah. Well, the thing is too, like if you one of you gets recognized, I mean all of you get recognized, right? Yeah, Obviously, but if anything, anything, if anything, if anything, all the girls. Love. Crowd around them, and we're just like, ah, yeah. Take them. Yeah, you guys sneak off. That's when you get off, and you go. I see. Someone recognized you in Hollywood. These two girls, remember? Who was it? Was you? In real life tour. Yeah. Just the other day. What? But they didn't He's like, I didn't either. call them back, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember their names. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, let's go a little bit back to the single. And again, if you haven't watched it, just make sure that you watch it within, I don't know, a very short radius between you and a pool. <laughs> so who, because you guys are all wearing very bright colors, is this something that's kind of just on brand for you, this type of song? The fun, the outfit, you know, yeah, outgoing. I, think I mean, so. yeah, I mean, as a group, we always try to like look colorful, mm -hmm. and it just so happened in their video, super colorful yeah. as well. Yeah. So, I mean, it well, it helps together. also that like the look of these, or like right now, what's trending is like the neon, yeah, exactly. so we put that in there for sure. But I would say our music is very vibrant, very youthful, very colorful. So, we, you know, we've seen some other family bands come together, maybe drift apart, come back together, yeah. most recently the Jonas Brothers. Love this. What's the glue? How, how do you all keep it together? And are you ever actually just a little fearful that it would fall apart at any time? Every, every, that's a good yeah, question. Yeah, well, that's a great question. I mean, that, that thought is always going to be in the, the back time. of your head. Yeah. Right? It has it's, to be, because you scary, see it. It's scary, yeah. Of course. But I feel like bringing us together is like, you know, like you have to have faith. You always have mm -hmm. to trust. And like our meaning for this group, I feel like is just so much bigger than like what normal groups. I'm not saying like that's, well, I don't know. I just yeah. feel like we have such a deeper meaning and passion for what right. we want to do. And especially in the future, like helping people, you know, building yeah. like foundations or whatever. Yes. Yeah, so Sorry. Good. But our, our parents are a big, yeah. are a big right. factor as why we were so close yeah. together. Uh -huh. And just being also Filipino in our culture, right. family is like everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. So That's true. even though we get on each other's nerves, we're each other's yeah. best friends. So we have a goal and a mission and we're in it. Yeah. Good. Good. I need you guys to be in it. Yes. it. Okay. Oh, it's so scary. We don't, yeah. I don't want a documentary yeah. later. Oh, oh, no. No. Okay. Like, you like, start crying now. Don't <laughs> That. <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining us here today. Thank you gotta always come back to us. And thank again, thank you, thank you again for oh, premiering yes. our video and always Andy, bringing Andy, us. Yes. You know, it's so just like a home. Yes, we love. You we love so if you love haven't it. seen it, of course, you can check it out on sweetiehigh.com. But it's also all over. We have it on YouTube, and you just search "like a band." Like a band. Jagmax, right. you're gonna, you're gonna That's find right. it. But again, jumping distance from a pool. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta like be able to get the pool out. Exactly. You guys, thank you so much. You are the best. You make it easy. I mean. Can they adopt us? I, I, if you need What's, two more members of Jagmac, honestly, we're in. Six, eight. <laughs> at that point, add it to the tab, keep it open, who's counting? <laughs> All right. Uh, well, congratulations yes. to Jagmac on Like a Band. Yes. We love the song. We do. I mean, we're going to be jamming to it all summer, right? Yeah, I'm probably going to go leave work early. <laughs> Sick. And all right, make well, some splash, jump that's a show for us today. Yeah. We will not be here on the 4th of July. We will not. Because I'll be making a splash, if you know what I'm saying. So. Yes, we will be celebrating 4th of July with the rest of you, but hope you have a safe and wonderful 4th of July. Watch yes. the fireworks. Comment, comment, comment below, people. If you made it to this point in the video, let us know. And we'll see you guys next Tuesday. We will see you on All Tuesday. Right. All Have right. a great long weekend. Bye. God bless. God bless America.